Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Maina Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak. Today is Friday of third week in ordinary time. We will now have the morning prayer of the church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. The Lord's is the earth and its fullness, the world and all its peoples. It is he who set it on the seas, on the waters he made it firm. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Who shall climb the mountain of the Lord? Who shall stand in his holy place? The man with clean hands and pure hearts, who desires not worthless things, who has not sworn so as to deceive his neighbor. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. He shall receive blessings from the Lord and reward from the God who saves him. Such are the men who seek him. Seek the face of the God of Jacob. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter the King of glory. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Who is the King of glory? The Lord, the mighty, the valiant, the Lord, the valiant in war. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. O gates, lift high your heads, grow higher ancient doors, let him enter the King of glory. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Who is he, the King of glory? He, the Lord of armies, he is the King of glory. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for his great love is without end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Lord, whose love in humble service bore the weight of humanity, who did on the cross forsaken show us mercy's perfect deed. We, your servants, bring the worship, not of voice alone, but our heart, consecrating to your purpose. Be seated. You alone I have grieved by my sin. Have pity on me, O Lord. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? 
that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may, may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With the spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with a lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Truly we know our offenses, Lord, for we have sinned against you. Let my eyes stream with tears, day and night, without rest, over the great destruction which overwhelms the virgin daughter of my people, over her incurable wound. If I walk out into the field, Look, those slain by the sword. If I enter the city, look, those consumed by hunger. Even the prophet and the priest, for each in the land they know not. Have you cast Judah off completely? Is Zion looked some to you? Why have you struck us a blow that cannot be healed? We wait for peace to no avail, for a time of healing, but terror comes instead. We recognize, O Lord, our wickedness, the guilt of our fathers, that we have sinned against you. For your name's sake, spurn us not. Disgrace not the throne of your glory. Remember your covenant with us, and break it not. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is God. We are his people, the flock, his shepherds. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, direct our actions according to your good pleasure, that in the name of your beloved Son, we may abound in good works through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Remember the days past when after you had been enlightened, you endured a great contest of suffering. At times, you were publicly exposed to abuse and affliction. At other times, you associated yourself with those so treated. You even joined in the sufferings of those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property, knowing that you had a better and lasting possession. Therefore, 
do not throw away your confidence it will have great recompense you need endurance to do the will of god and receive what he has promised for after just a brief moment who he who is to come shall come he shall not delay but my just one shall live by faith and if he draws back i take no pleasure in him we are not among those who draw back and perish but among those who have faith and will possess life the word of the lord thanks be to god the salvation of the just comes from the lord the salvation of the just comes from the lord trust in the lord and do good that you may dwell in the land and be fed in security take delight in the lord and he will grant you your heart's request the salvation of the just comes from the lord commit to the lord your way trust in him and he will act he will make justice dawn from you like the light bright as the noonday shall be your vindication the salvation of the just comes from the lord by the lord are the steps of a man made firm and be approves his way though he fall he does not lie prostrate for the hand of the lord sustains him the salvation of the just comes from the lord the salvation of the just is from the lord he is their refuge in time of distress and the lord helps them and delivers them he delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him the salvation of the just comes from the lord please stand The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, This is how it is with the kingdom of God. It is as if a man were to scatter seed on the land, and would sleep and rise night and day, and the seed would sprout and grow. He knows not how. Of its own accord, the land yields fruit. First the blade, then the ear, then the full grain in the ear. And when the grain is ripe, he wills the sickle at once, for the harvest has come. He said, To what shall we compare the kingdom of God? Or what parable can we wish we wish we use for it? It is like a mustard seed that when it is shown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds on the earth. But once it is sown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants and puts forth largest branches, so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. With many such parables, he spoke the word of them as they were able to understand it. Without parables, he did not speak to them. But to his own disciples, explain everything in private. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. So, good. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Kumusta po? So, three weeks ago, or exactly on January 2, I was ordained as deacon in Santo Domingo Church in Quezon City. Uh, pero honestly po, becoming a priest or enter a religious life, it is not my childhood dreams. I have never been a altar surfer or rector. So after I finished high school, I went to the university to study accountancy. And after the graduation, I worked as accountant in some, com some companies. I think uh, it was in the third year I was accountant when I start to feel the calling for the priesthood. At that time, I feel peaceful whenever I attended the mass. I like to listen to the homilies of the priest, and I just suddenly come in my mind that it is not bad to become a priest, and. So, like that, in the first place, it is just start from my wishful thinking. How if I become a priest? And to make a story short, from this thing, how if, finally I decided to enter the Dominican order. Although there is many worries and doubtful, and I did not understand yet, and sometimes also ask to God, ask the Lord, why me, Lord? Bakit ako? My brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, Jesus taught his disciple the parable of the kingdom of God. As he said, it is if a man were scattered seed on the land, and also in another parable, it is like a mustard seed that when it's shown in the ground, it is the smallest of all the seeds of the earth. But once it is shown, it springs up and becomes the largest of plants. To these parables, Jesus wants to teach his disciples and also you and me that we can experience the kingdom of God in a silent way, in a simple way. So it's not necessary that we can feel the kingdom of God through a spectacular way. We just need to do simple, to sow a small, small seed, and when that small seed touches the ground, it will grow up and become a big tree. And everything happens in silence, and nobody knows. Meaning to say, we should touch the heart of God. And the, way, the best way to touch His heart is through a prayer. Because when we pray, we were connected to God and we touch His heart. Then something will happen in silence. And nobody knows, but only God knows. We just need to be patient and trust in Him because at the end of the day, we will see the miracle in our lives. Something we never thought of, but that is what God provides for those who believe in Him. So, mga kapatid, if I can go back to my vocation story, before I never thought that I can persevere until this stage, when I was a novice, like uh, our brother novices here, there a time there were a time that I feel so doubtful and so I was so afraid. But thanks be to God because in this formation we were taught to pray well, how to pray properly. So during this formation I just prayed to God and to Mama Mary and focus on the silent of my novitiate days. So instead become of worry and doubtful, I should not 
take for granted the silent moments with God. I should not take granted every silent moment I have with God. The moment when I, when I feel peace, when I pray, and the moment when He, he answers my prayers in an unexpected way. And now, if I can stand here in front of you, it is not because of me. Everything is God's grace. Everything is, it is God's mercy. As Jesus also said in today's Gospel, When the grain is ripe, he wills the seeker at once, for the harvest has come. And so that the birds of the sky can dwell in its shade. So I'm really grateful and I really thank to the Lord because my vocation is now starting to bear fruit and I must share the fruit as a blessing for others. Therefore, never under underestimate your prayer time. It will not go to waste because when you pray, God is working in silence for you. And it is heaven when you are connected to God. So now, as we continue this Eucharistic celebration, let us pray to God so that we will have the seed, the seed of faith, love, and hope which can touch the, the heart of God and transform our life to a blessing for others and for the glory of God. Please all stand. Full of hope and confidence, we make our prayer to God, the Father, and choose for an increase in His presence in our life. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. The other church may continue to grow and be a symbol of justice, love, and truth in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That as a community, we may not be idle in our life of faith, but every day seek God, even in our difficulties and sufferings. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That families, especially our children, may grow in the ways of grace and mature into Christ-like people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Thus the sick may be strengthened in their faith by uniting their sufferings with Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, Parents, Relatives, Benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province and for our brothers and ministry, as St. John Gartran and St. Albert the Great, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawak and for our personal intentions, we pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may reap the fruits of peace, joy, and serenity in God's kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, help us grasp the importance of the time in which we are living. Open our hearts to your word so that we may always bear fruit. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. 
fruit of the fine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual dream. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept your offerings, O Lord, we pray, and in sanctifying them, grant that they may profit us for salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is totally right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him to the Christ our Lord. And through him the angels praise your majesty, Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together in exaltation. And may our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we... Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Kristo ay bunitahi, sarili niya'y inihahi, bilang pagkaitinuli, bilang sasaluhan natin, hanggang sa siya'y dumating, hanggang sa siya'y dumating. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of His death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy, 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of peace throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. All stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you peace. all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. My dear friends, behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng komunyon, bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ang inyong dalawang kamay ang ostia at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang ostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng ostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po.
Please stand. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has he raised up for us a mighty Savior, Savior born of the house of his servant David. David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight, all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory, Glory to, the to the Father, and, and, to, the and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Litany of gratitude after the COVID pandemic. Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we receive during the COVID pandemic. Let us say together, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for reminding us of the fragility of life and opening our minds to what is really essential. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us 
with scientific and social and spiritual help and for the gift of newly discovered vaccines. Let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and depressed during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Loving God, you enter the world of sickness, suffering and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life eternal everlasting on all those who have who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that receiving the grace by which you bring us to new life, may we always glory in your gift. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. My dear friends, we thank Reverend Agus for his homily today, and we continue to pray for him. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Prayer for the blessing of the sea. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of the religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, may these rosaries, images, and candles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.